Howdy guys and welcome to another technical tutorial on the IBM BPM product. In this edition what we're going to talk about is a new capability released in the 857 release with Cumulative Frix 2017-03. That's the March 2017 release of Cumulative Fixes for the BPM product. What we're specifically going to talk about is the new eventing capability built into uh, the Coach View Designer. So the notion behind this is that when we create a new instance, I'm sorry, when we create a new Coach View type, we can specify that that Coach View can generate events and when we use that coach view in a coach we can bind that uh, that event to some arbitrary JavaScript just fragments of JavaScript we don't we don't have to drop into deep deep coding but we can have arbitrary aspect uh, fragments of JavaScript invoked when an interesting event happens now that's that's lots of words what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this live through a short build out of a tutorial so I've got nothing built so far so now we're going to create ourselves a new coach view and I'm unimaginatively going to model this on a button so we'll call this my button coach view or just my button I hit finish hit finish and we now have a new coach view type here in the behavior of this coach view I'm going to define load code this is code that gets called when the coach view is loaded into the coach and I'm going to copy and paste from my other window here a fragment of code that I've already written now let's talk about this because it's not overly complicated what I'm doing is I'm creating a HTML button or a DOM button that means that we will have a button on the screen and when the button is clicked I'm going to log into the browser console that the button was clicked I'm going to say that the text of the button is press me and I'm going to add that button as a child of my coach view so it will appear and literally that's it we've now created ourselves a new technical coach view which is a very simple poor man's button that doesn't do anything other than log that it was clicked very interesting so let me save that and now let's create a human service so that we can actually see it run so we'll see my button demo and hit the finish button and this will create as a new client side human service we'll go over to the coaches we will create ourselves a new coach and here's my button and I will drag and drop my unimaginative button which doesn't even look like a button because I haven't specified any visualization for it but that's okay and now let's go ahead and play this so first thing that happens is we see we get a window and there is our button that button came from our coach view now let me dock this here's a trick you might not know if you bring up select show as tab you can then dock that window dock that window with your other windows that comes, that's kind of nice so uh, in my coach view remember the coach view in the coach view we said we wanted to create a HTML button and we wanted it to have the text press me and we look at our button and there it is press me if I hit Control shift I in my Google Chrome browser and click on press me we see that the message button clicked is in fact logged okay now this is nothing new we haven't even touched on eventing yet this is just setting ourselves up for a very simple custom coach view now let's get into eventing we go to the variables tab of our custom coach view and we say we're going to create a new configuration option and we will call this button clicked button clicked now I want you to notice this radio button Pri prior to cumulative fix 2017 this wasn't present when we select event as the configuration type we can now specify a label we'll call it uh, button clicked and we'll give it some documentation code called when button is clicked and that's all we need to specify so what we've defined is that we've said that on our coach view there's going to be a new configuration option 
there's going to be a new configuration option which uh, basically say is going to be called button clicked and when clicked it's going to generate an event now let's have a look at this on our coaches if we go over to our coaches click on the my button coach view which is our custom coach view let me bring this up a little bit and we go over to configure we go over to events and we now see we have a new property the new property is called button clicked and that of course matches what we defined and here we can enter javascript code that will be invoked when that event is fired so let's do something like alert uh, my custom coach view button was clicked. So this is some JavaScript which is going to be executed when this event is fired. So let's go ahead and run it. We go ahead and run it. Here's this. Here's my button. I click it and nothing happens. We don't see our alert dialog. Well, why don't we see our alert dialog? Because if we look at our logic of our custom coach view, we've defined that our custom coach view has a new event and that it's called button clicked and we've used it in our coaches, but we haven't said where within our logic that event would be fired. So we want that event to be fired here. We want it to be fired when the user actually clicks on the button. Now we have, <coughs> excuse me, a new API that we can call, and it's called execute event handling function. And it takes as a parameter the name of the event. So this button clicked is the same button clicked here. And what that means is that when <coughs> this button is actually clicked, this piece of logic will fire, which will cause the coach to fire that event. So let's try it again. Let's go back to my button demo. Let's hit the play button. Let's go have a look. Let's hit press me and voila! The logic we're seeing here, this dialog that popped up here, this is logic which we prescribed that we inserted in the usage of that custom coach view. So let's uh, let's add let's change it to demonstrate that's real. Let's add a new date, uh, a new date. Yep, that looks good. Let's run that coach view uh, that coach again. Hit the button, and now it says uh, my custom coach view was clicked, and here's the date that we just entered. So what that means is that we can now invoke a arbitrary fragment of JavaScript. Now, right now, as of May 2017, that's not particularly useful. I mean, I'm not quite sure what kind of JavaScript we might want to execute, but this is a precursor to some major new function coming in a later release or fix pack of the BPM product later this year. So we're seeing start to dribble in to the BPM product uh, a lot of really cool function that we're going to see uh, uh, manifest itself in the BPM Spark UI release later this year. Now this uh, uh, function you're seeing here it is fully documented. I'm just copying and pasting the URL. So it's fully documented in our info center. So we can go and look at the BPM info center and we can read all about the different usages of this logic and how to make the APIs work. So in this video, really what I did was I wanted to show you a live demonstration of what it looks like. I hope you found this useful and uh, look forward to making more of these videos in the future. Thanks guys and bye for now.